Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use a click track in Studio One. Let's take a look. Okay everyone, let's make a click track here in Studio One. Basically what a click track is, it's your metronome, it's your tempo, it's the timing of the song. In this case, if you look down here in our menu bar, in our playback bar here, you'll see this section that says metronome. Let's play this audio back and Let's activate the metronome right here by turning it on. The icon turns to light blue there in my settings. Here we go. Or the C key on your keyboard. Let's try that. Metronome on, metronome off. And there you can hear it's keeping time at 95 BPM. Now, if you want to record your metronome, it's really easy. What you want to do is set your tempo first. Here, I can double click. We can, we can do this in the when you're creating a new song in the beginning, uh, the start page here in Studio One, or at any time if you change your mind and you want to alter that. Let's go to 120, for example, and hit Enter. All right, and now when I play my session back with the metronome on here, you'll hear the tempo metering at 120. There, and you can now record to that. Let's undo this, and you see it goes back to 95 now. Now, of course, what would a metronome be without settings? And that's where this little wrench icon comes in. Just selecting that opens up our metronome setup page. Now, there's a really cool function here called render. What this will do is it'll actually create a WAV file for you in your session that will represent the tempo you have set here in your metronome, which is 95 BPM here in this session. I can't tell you how much I love this function. I was doing this, dare I say, 15 plus years ago. I would actually route my audio, my metronome out and record it to variable lengths and I would keep a bank of these on my folder. Why? Because sometimes I want a WAV file. There are things you can do with that. For example, audio to MIDI conversion and stuff like that. So if I just select render right now, it's gonna say from the start to the end, yep, that's what I want. I want everything or a loop range. But I'll do from the beginning to the end of the song and hit okay and there, right down here, you can now see we have a metronome that's been rendered out. Let's uh, zoom in and there it is. Now, what did it render out? It rendered out these settings here, the accent. Here we can choose a little bit more volume for our downbeat and a, a little bit pull back here for our following beats. Let's take a listen to this metronome wave file that we just created. Now, of course, obviously, prior to your metronome track conversion, you have some options here. You can choose what kind of tone you want. Let's take a, mm, let's do a clav, for example. And now let's go back to a location in our session where we're going to hear just that. And for our following beats, let's choose a cowbell. And let's bring them back a little bit and increase it a little bit for our downbeat. And of course, our offbeat will introduce some additional hits. All right. Now, here you can activate a pre count, a pre roll. This is for when you're recording. Typically, I like to set this to two bars. Gives me a little bit more of an edge into recording. For example, your metronome will start two bars prior to recording. Gives you a little bit of a, a leeway to take a breath and just get in the zone before you start making music. You can repeat accents and here are some more options here. So you can also store this preset now, which is great. And you can load presets or trade presets with your friends. I love being able to render this and the metronome here is really easy to use. Again, if you want to activate it, just turn it on here in our toolbar. Okay. Off, 
and on in our settings here with the monkey wrench. And we can create any kind we want and we can now render any kind of file we want. Let's say we love this new session here. Let me hit render and it's going to create a brand new, here we go, right down here at the bottom, another printed metronome track for us that now represents the uh, the new sounds that we created. And again, I used to do this years ago, old school. It's nice to know that we can just uh, render them as, easy, as easily as this. Thank you, Studio One. So that's a quick look at how to set up your metronome, your click track here in Studio One. You can do this in any session at any time. You can adjust it, tweak it, conform it to your heart's content, whatever gets you in that zone for making the best music possible. Hey everyone, and thank you for watching. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Leave your comments below, like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to download that cheat sheet in the description below.